You can count on me to take those values to Washington. A married man with five children caught canoodling with a woman who is not his wife. A compromising image for a Southern Republican. Tonight, real life scandal. This deeply religious married congressman campaigned on strong family values and his strong Christian beliefs. But tonight, the conservative father of five is caught on office cameras making out with his much younger staff member. Look at just released surveillance video of Louisiana Congressman Vance McAllister locking lips with his female staffer, who is also married, by the way. McAllister's hometown newspaper posted the risque video recorded just two days before Christmas. I guess Christmas came early. <laughs> One month earlier, the conservative Republican was sworn into office surrounded by his wife of 16 years and their five kids. His entire campaign centered around his family and his family values. And here at the McAllister house, we have a big family breakfast every Sunday before church. Kelly does the cooking, and I do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So mostly I do the eating. But it's here in this house that Kelly and I work to instill the values of faith, family, and country in our five children. Hmm. Well, that doesn't dovetail with this video of him smacking face with 33-year-old scheduler, Melissa Peacock. That's her real name. This wasn't just a quick peck. They are caught on tape sucking face for at least 30 seconds. Who knows how long it went on? You can count on me to take those values to Washington, defend our Christian way of life, protect the unborn, and be right back here every Sunday to do the dishes. Oh, that's so heartwarming. Ah! The congressman apologized, saying, I'm for asking for forgiveness from God, my wife, my kids, my staff, and my constituents who elected me to serve. Straight out to the lion's dead. I know you're fired up. Jane, Jane, uh, break go, out the violins for this guy. Let me get forgiveness from God. This guy is as phony as a $3 bill. He runs under this, this principled conservative Christian platform, and within a year, he's cheating on his wife. These guys have got to go. Uh, you know what? I say I step agree, down. Jane. Step down. Jane. Okay. Go ahead. My problem Ariba. with this my problem with this guy is he won't stand up for his mistakes. He scapegoated this lowly assistant, fired her, made her leave her job rather than standing up, being a man, being honest, accepting responsibility for his mistakes. He cannot be trusted.